Good evening. Thanks for being here. The High Representative and Vice President Federica Mogherini will now debrief you after the meeting uh, she had with Minister of Foreign Affairs of Qatar and the other diplomatic contacts which took place over the last days. Uh, High Representative, I leave you the floor. Thank you, Catherine. Um, I first of all apologize for the delay. We had a very long, uh, substantial and good meeting with Foreign Minister Altani of Qatar. Just before the meeting took place, uh, I had uh, uh, the second telephone call in 24 hours with the Foreign Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, Al Jubeir, and uh, yesterday I spoke at length with the Foreign Minister of Kuwait, Al Sabah. Um, the European Union is uh, talking directly uh, to all sides directly involved uh, in the uh, ongoing tensions and crisis uh, across the Gulf and around the Gulf, in particular within the GCC, uh, with uh, two simple messages. One, avoid any further, any further escalation. And second, engage in a political dialogue, in particular taking advantage of the mediation efforts that uh, Kuwait is putting in place. These are the two clear, straightforward messages we're passing to our friends in the region. The European Union has good relations with all countries uh, of the GCC, all countries of the region are good friends for us. We want to keep these good relations with all countries in the Gulf, and we will keep good relations with all countries in the Gulf. We also believe that regional cooperation in the Gulf and around the Gulf is key for different reasons. First of all, to have an effective work on counterterrorism, including on counterterrorism financing. We believe that regional cooperation in the Gulf is key for our security and the stability of the region. And we believe it is also key for uh, economy and trade. Uh, not only the region is very much interconnected, people, businesses, trade, security, uh, people, communities are interlinked around the Gulf. And we believe that restoring a good level of regional cooperation in the Gulf is key for the benefit of all citizens of the Gulf, all people in the Gulf. We also have a direct European Union interest, first of all because uh, uh, this risk to affect uh, the work we do together on the security. We are together in the coalition against Daesh, we are together in our efforts to find a way out of the crisis in Syria. And uh, we need our partners to come together again. Uh, we also have direct European interests in terms of economic investments and trade and relations. And in general terms, I would like to say that the region has to understand, the Gulf has to understand on all sides, that uh, what happens there is relevant for many parts of the world. Again, in terms of security, in terms of stability, in terms also of economy, but also in terms of uh, religions. And we see a clear risk of the situation escalating further and spreading in an unpleasant or dangerous manner beyond the region of the Gulf, being it in Africa or in uh, Southeast Asia or in the Middle East even further. Contacts uh, directly with the parties involved uh, will continue in the coming days, always with one purpose, that of supporting the work that Kuwait is doing. We do not want to multiply uh, mediation efforts. For us, it's clear there is one mediation effort in place that is the one that already succeeded during a similar but less dramatic crisis in 2014. We believe that the Kuwaiti effort can be the one succeeding. We fully support uh, their work and we have put the European Union uh, help and support at their disposal uh, to accompany uh, it in the best possible uh, manner. Uh, we will also continue to discuss about this, passing the same messages to uh, other actors that are not directly involved, but are uh, taking the situation very seriously uh, in the region and beyond. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take one question or two. Yes. Uh, Nawab Khan from the Kuwait News Agency. Madam Mogherini, you, you already referred to the mediation by Kuwait. Are you yourself planning to visit the region maybe to support these mediation efforts? Thank you. If needed, uh, uh, obviously I would be ready to do it. Um, I, uh, I agreed with uh, uh, Foreign Minister Al-Sabah 
that we will keep closely uh, in uh, coordination in these days. I offered him all the support the European Union and me personally uh, can give to the work uh, that Kuwait is doing. Uh, so if uh, a visit uh, uh, can be considered useful, first of all by uh, our Kuwaiti friends, I would be ready to do it anytime. Uh, I uh, believe that uh, uh, this will also be one of the topics we will discuss, not my visit, but the situation in the Gulf and the way in which the European Union can support uh, even more the uh, mediation efforts uh, by Kuwait. This will be one of the issues we will probably discuss also with the foreign ministers of the 28 member states when we will have the Foreign Affairs Council in 10 days from now. Ali? On va débattre euh, le 19 juin euh, au Conseil des affaires étrangères de l'Union européenne euh, sur la situation. Euh, je vais sûrement euh, euh, partager avec les ministres euh, le travail qu'on est en train de faire. On a encore 10 jours, alors j'espère que d'ici au 19, on va avoir des mouvements positifs plutôt que négatifs. Euh, L'idéal serait de ne pas devoir aborder la question le 19, euh, mais... Uh, Ishal, mais là, ce n'est pas dans nos mains. Uh, ce qui est, est important uh, de mon côté, de notre côté, c'est de garder des liens uh, très étroits uh, et des conversations presque quotidiennes avec uh, uh, soit le, le ministre du Qatar, soit le ministre uh, d'Arabie Saoudite et, comme je dis, le ministre des Affaires étrangères de Kuwait uh, pour soutenir soutenir les efforts de dialogue. Il peut y avoir des visions différentes. Nous aussi, on a des visions différentes, parfois avec chacun des interlocuteurs dans le Golfe, mais euh, la façon de régler des différences euh, ou même euh, des euh, positions euh, inconciliables, parfois, euh, nous pensons que c'est toujours euh, à travers les dialogues et qu'il y a toujours la possibilité de trouver une base commune de travail encore, je répète, pour nous, la priorité, c'est la lutte contre le terrorisme, la solution des crises euh, régionales euh, et euh, le maintien de euh, bonnes relations, soit sur le côté de la stabilité de la région, soit sur le côté euh, des investissements économiques et, et du commerce. Et pour ça, euh, je ne dirais pas seulement les citoyens du Golfe, mais aussi l'Europe et tout le monde a besoin d'un euh, niveau de coopération et de respect entre les pays du Golfe euh, au sein de GCC. Shai, thank you very much. I guess we will close here. Thank you very much.